A lot of you have been asking about the situation at the cabin. Most of you have probably seen the video where I explain <clears throat> what happened, but a quick recap is I was away by the ocean renovating a cottage with my good friend this summer and Allie was here alone and some officials from the town came and basically accosted her, tried to gain entry knowing she wasn't the owner. They didn't listen to a word she said. They told her that she was living there for sure and that this is no longer a camp. We need a septic and a well, even though we don't have any power, reliable power, and we're right next to the river. All this stuff, basically saying the place is too nice, so now you need to make it an official residence type of thing, even though that's not what we've ever wanted to do. So they said that they would, uh, they said we'd hear from them soon and yada, yada, yada. And it was, uh, it was pretty heartbreaking and it was traumatizing for Allie. I'll put a link in the description where you can watch that full video because um, this is the update. So basically, I don't want this to be negative or anything like that. I don't want to have bad blood with the town. I really just want to be left alone here. This is nothing more than a camp to us. We do not live here full time. We have a house. This is our escape. This is our little camp, totally off grid. And I want to keep it that way. And when I put that video out, I received tons of messages. I said I was considering selling it just to get rid of the headache. And I got tons of offers, countless emails, messages, advice. Um, so thank you guys for all the advice. The main thing was basically get a lawyer and see what you can actually do. And so we looked into that a ton. And after cooling off and thinking about it a lot, I decided that I, I don't want to sell this place. It, I bought it for a reason. I bought this place with my own money. It was one of my first major purchases I made. I knew that I always wanted a piece of home that I could come back to. And so I, I, yeah, I have a deep connection with this place. I used to come here when I was 14 and pick up sticks for the owner. So it'd be crazy to get rid of it. Though at the same time, I understand the mindset there is so much more that needs to be done and it has been a stressful journey, but nothing good comes easy. The update is that so far we haven't heard anything from the town and I don't know what to expect or how to feel about that. I'm sure they're not gonna leave us alone. I'm also pretty sure that they're probably watching this right now and that they saw the other video and I don't want this to come across as like, oh, they didn't do anything type thing. I don't want to be in some kind of a battle. I want this to just stay a camp. I want to be left alone. We don't bother anyone out here in the woods. We're not doing anything illegal or crazy. This place is where we get back to nature, where we get back. I mean, our house is, is out in the countryside too, but this is, the fact that this is off grid and there's no service, there's no good cell phone service or anything, there's no Wi-Fi or any screens, that's what makes this place special. And really the last thing I wanna do is modernize it and, and have reliable electricity, have reliable running water, all that stuff. The fact that it doesn't have any amenities is what makes it special. But yeah, so we haven't heard anything, but we're not gonna just give up and flee I don't want to fight either, but I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I mean, I've probably been in these hills longer than any of the town officials. I mean, I don't know if they grew up here or not, but I grew up just down the river and this, this is my home, these hills. I've been exploring these hills since I was a tiny toddler. And yeah, now that we have the house, we've got another place to focus on. So. We'll probably slow down here on all the things that I wanted to do. It's nothing major, just like I want a, a real shed, just like I want at the house. I want a real shed to organize the tools and we just got stuff everywhere we got to pick up. Nothing's gonna happen fast, but slowly and surely we're gonna clean this place up good and proper and really clean the grounds up. That's the short of it. And after being here for the last couple days, just, soaking it all in, walking around the property. And every time I'm here and I spend time here, I realize how special it is. And it's only when I'm away and think about everything that needs to be done 
that I get stressed. And I'm learning to accept that not all of your dreams can happen at once. And it's not a race and it's not about how quickly you get it done. In, in my mind, it's like I wanna get all these things done so then we can enjoy it. We can chip away at this. This is a lifelong thing. And I have been enjoying the journey even through the ups and downs. It's been a rocky road and I'm sure that it's not over. Thank you guys for all your support throughout this and all your advice, everything like that. And I look forward to, to many more stories here. I'm so excited for the first blizzard. I can't wait to ride the snowmobiles in and have a really cozy stay. There's nothing like the first blizzard here. I hope we're around to catch it. But either way, just being here in the snow is my absolute favorite time. It's really hard to articulate, but there's something about having light and warmth out in the middle of nowhere that just, it's so satisfying to my like primal instinct. We're gonna, we're gonna stick it out. We're gonna hold on to this, keep chipping away. And this upcoming year, I wanna, honestly, I wanna produce videos less, less often and take more time to really soak in everything that we've worked for, everything that we've built, because it's, uh, sometimes life can move so fast and you're just focusing on what to do next. I wanna, I wanna slow down. I know from the outside perspective, this channel looks like it's nothing but peace and, and relaxation and a slow, simple life. And we have moments of that, but there's a lot of monotony, a lot of uh, working really, really hard behind the scenes that doesn't get shown. So next year, the goal is to definitely spend some time here without the cameras, really soak in the land, walk every corner of it, just become even deeper intertwined with this property. Um, and as the years go by, that's, that's what's gonna happen, so. I know that's not a very exciting update, but that's what's happened is basically nothing except for the change in mindset that no longer gonna sell this place, gonna stick it out and uh, just see what happens. So thank you guys for being a part of this journey. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I got some great holiday stories on the way. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful December and we'll talk soon.